Well, I'd say what interests me the most about science is probably that it challenges me to think about the details of our lives that are so familiar. Um, like for example, why do the leaves change color in the fall? Or why do I get so tired after running for so long? It's really instilled that sense of exploration in me that's become such a big part of who I am today. Um, I also really like how science is sort of infinite, ever-changing. Um, you know, as long as there are people eager enough to ask questions about our universe, there's always going to be science, you know, scientific research and studies being conducted to try and answer those questions. So that's really why I love science. My research was focusing on a specific protein pathway called the P38 protein pathway in um, the mice cervix, the uterine cervix. And um, I was looking at how increased levels of P38 protein expression um, contributed to cervical inflammation, which is one of the leading causes of preterm labor today. The results of our research were that um, high, dis high doses of estrogen result in uh, a high expression of the p38 protein which suggests that um, that protein pathway is used to uh, cause the inflammation leading to preterm labor so potential research in the future could be um, inhibiting that pathway and hopefully um, reducing the chances of preterm labor which is one of the biggest epidemics that are plaguing many third world countries today This research I conducted through a program called Summer Ventures in Science and Mathematics. It's a program that offers high school students in the state of North Carolina the opportunity to engage in a summer research experience. And um, I did my research through a biomedical sciences lab at Appalachian State University under um, the guidance of Dr. Moa. The Chronicle of the New Researcher was one of the first journals that I had come across that exclusively encouraged high school students to um, publish their research. And I thought that this would be a really great opportunity for me to um, kind of be able to simulate the publishing process so early on. I'd say the review process was probably one of the most rewarding parts of the um, entire experience because I got to learn so much about the nuances that are important um, for submitting a research paper. And I had the guidance of a really great mentor, Dr. Rama Badran, who really helped me um, navigate through the rigorous editing process and you know just getting the feedback from members on the review board like Dr. Wiggins and um, my mentors about my research as well as you know general formatting norms was a great learning experience for me. I would say I was probably most surprised um, about the great attention to detail um, necessary especially relating to font size, spacing, and other formatting requirements. I never really expected that emphasis on um, uniformity throughout the paper, but once the final product was done and um, I saw how neat and organized everything was, it made a lot more sense. <laughs> Yes, this is the first time I've had my research published, so it's been a really exciting journey. <laughs> Having the opportunity to publish with the um, Chronicle has obviously given me that firsthand experience to you know how the entire publication process is conducted um, and the chance that I get to publish again in the future, um, but it has also opened up a lot of doors for me to network with other scientists um, in the field of biomedical science for any future career research opportunities. So the field of biomedical engineering has really captured my interest and um, I really aspire to be able to apply the engineering concepts to solving um, medical problems in third world countries. 
I think that as students, we have so much to offer to the international community, especially with the growth of technology and innovation that's being fostered in universities today. Um, and I personally would really like to donate my time and efforts to improving the quality of care for those people.